Today I'm going to show you my solution for clamping odd angles. Most clamps are made to pull joints together at right or perpendicular angles, but some of us like to live outside the box. I recently built a table that had tapered angled legs, and I had the tricky task to figure out how to clamp them up after I worked out my joining method. I used dominoes, but you could just as easily use dowels or forgo the clamping altogether and throw some screws in there. For any two pieces of wood pulled together, you get the best clamping pressure perpendicular to the joint. You can see here some guidelines that are 90 degrees to the joint itself. That's the line you want to squeeze on. Make sense? So how the f do you get clamps designed for right angles to pull together an obtuse angled joint? I made this little guy. Well, I made a bunch of them, but it's nothing more than a scrap cut thin with a round protuberance on one end. We'll call this the skinny part and this the round part. I saw some other people using a similar jig made from metal but they weren't on the market anymore, and the metal one had ridges on the skinny part that I thought might mark up the wood, so I figured I'd DIY it and see what happened. With this, you clamp the thin part to the working pieces that need clamping, and then use the other clamp to grab the round part. The first clamp on the skinny part essentially joins this little jig to your working piece, and the round part works as a sweet little grip your right angled clamp can easily grab. For enhanced grippiness on the skinny part, you could add some sandpaper with your favorite spray adhesive, or run a screw through it if it isn't going to be in a noticeable place on your working piece. Now the round part is where the magic happens. As long as the perpendicular line running through your joint intersects the round part, you will have the correct angle pressure for your odd non-right angle. I hope this helps, and if it did, let me know in the comments down below, or give that thumbs up button a click. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.